Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 4th of 2024 is titled A Beautiful Triffid. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is known as the Triffid Nebula. And that has to do with its naming for the way it's divided into three different parts. So you can see that though with the dust lanes down there toward the bottom kind of separate the sections into three. Now the Triffid Nebula is often used because it represents the three main type of nebulae that we see and all of those that are associated with star formation. So we could start off with the dark dust lane. So the dark dusty areas are the presence of excess dust, larger particles, not as not the same size or as big as household dust, but larger particles than the typical atoms that are present in space normally. And they can be dense enough to block out the light from behind it. So were they not there, the pattern would be a little bit more uniform. This divides it up a little more as those denser areas block out the light from behind. Now the blue color toward the top is what we call a reflection nebula and it gets that name because it is a reflection of light. So the hot stars that have formed which would have formed from the dust in the other nebula then scatter their light off of dust grains around. So the difference here they're both involved dust but it changes the density. The dust lanes have a higher density and the, the area around the reflection nebula has a lower density. Now I should qualify both of those densities are extremely low and in most parts of those would essentially be a vacuum. But you can still have more or less particles present. And when there's fewer and you have those bright stars around, they will scatter the light. Now those stars preferentially scatter shorter wavelengths. So we tend to see it as blue. The blue light gets scattered more easily than the red light, just as happens with molecules in our atmosphere. The blue light from the sun gets scattered around and comes from all directions giving us a blue sky. The red light comes straight through giving us a very red sunset when we're going through the most of the atmosphere. Now the last type of nebula here is called an emission nebula and that we see in the red. An emission nebula occurs when the hot stars that are around ionize the hydrogen gas. Could be any other gas as well, but typically most atoms in the universe are hydrogen. Therefore, it's mostly hydrogen gas. When they ionize that gas, they rip off electrons. In the case of hydrogen, it only has one electron. And when that is ripped off, then you have a separate proton and electron. So essentially, this area would be a sea of protons and electrons. They're combining together and they're being ripped apart continuously. And when they recombine they give off specific wavelengths of light and in this case a distinct red color that we see that is associated with hydrogen gas. So here we get to see the Triffid Nebula also known as M20 and it is part of our own galaxy and is a star forming region within our own galaxy showing the three different types of nebulae associated with star formation. So that was our picture of the day for July 4th of 2024. It was titled A Beautiful Triffid. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.